Hi guys, I wanted to do a quick um, monthly update for Naomi since it's been a few months and I feel like she has a lot of new things that she's doing and like really fast. I guess she actually turns 15 months tomorrow, which is crazy. Time is going fast after a year. It's like picking up even even more so. She's currently napping, but it's nearing the end of her nap soon, so she'll probably be at the end of this video and say hi. One of the first things that I want to mention and that I'm very thankful for is that she has had zero ear infections since she got tubes in her ears. I think it was like 10 months-ish. It was before her first birthday, so she's been ear infection free for at least about five months now, which is the longest stretch in a long time. She had had, I really can't remember, I should have wrote this down, but she had had about four or five ear infections within like the first year of her life. So that's what told us that she probably needed needed tubes. Um, if you missed my uh, video where I talked about her tubes and that experience, I'll link it down below. Even though her waking up from anesthesia <laughs> was terrible for like three straight hours, so worth it. I would do it again for her not to have ear infections and everything that goes along with that. So very thankful, very, very glad we made that decision and hope that it stays on the same track because I've known people that their kids have had to get tubes twice. So please let's not do that. So she's obviously walking everywhere, more like running. She still has yet to find her balance completely, but she's, I mean, she's walking, she's everywhere. She wants to run, and I try and tell her, let's, let's, like, master walking first, but no, she's running, she is on the move everywhere. She's really, I feel like her vocabulary is, um, as far as voicing words, is really starting to pick up. She's definitely waving bye-bye and hi when I tell, you know, when we're leaving places and I tell her to say bye, and she's starting to say bye, um, Wyatt, my nephew, her cousin who she sees all the time and we're we're just we've decided they're they're essentially going to be like as close as siblings since like the whole situation um anyway he calls himself bubba and so she has started to call him bubba like she'll say bubba mama dada doggy bubbles she says bubbles um it's really fun i feel like it's really uh Everything's just kind of really picking up, and I know I feel like I said that in the last video, but I just feel like new things are happening quicker and quicker, whereas obviously in the first year, you gotta wait a little while before, you know, they sit up on their own, and then there's another waiting period before they crawl, and it's just like longer periods of time in between the new things that happen, but now I feel like after a year old, it's like the time between the new things that she does, it's definitely smaller. She started doing this, like, she started doing that one day. We don't know where the heck she learned it. We're assuming daycare because we obviously don't stand around our house and do that, but it's hilarious. That's kind of how she passes time in the car seat. It's just, she loves it. Favorite foods, she destroys baked beans, like almost to the point where I'm embarrassed for her. You're still a baby and you've had an adult sized portion and I'm the one that has to change your diapers. Gonna affect you, girl. All the fruits in the world, she loves all the carbs, which I'm taking credit for. I am the carb lover of me and my husband. So I definitely gave her that uh, trait. She's welcome. She likes food. You guys, she can eat. And she, at her 12 month appointment, was in the 10 percentile for weight. She's still a little itty bitty thing, but she eats. That has to be from Nate. Um, he just lives the life of eating whatever he wants and not getting weight. We are officially pacifier free and we didn't even mean to do that. So let me explain the story. The pacifier that Naomi took to when she was a baby baby was the soothy, like those little ones you can like see inside their mouth when they're sucking and they look like little fishies. I'm pretty sure those say till six months. Um, but I mean, nevertheless, they're for infants. Naomi took to them so well and that's what she went to bed with and I let her have it till she was like pretty much a year old um, because she had no teeth so I wasn't really worried about like the teeth growing in all crazy and you know I wasn't really worried about the fact that it wasn't like an orthodontic approved whatever how you say it so I wasn't really worried that it wasn't like an orthodontic pacifier well then holy crap you guys when she was 13 months she had not one, not two, not five, but six 
dang teeth coming in at the same time. She teeds six teeth at the same time. She didn't have pretty much any teeth for almost her whole year of life, but once she got past that, the teeth were like, we're here, arrived. Okay. Anyway, so when she started getting all those teeth, it kind of started freaking me out about, you know, it still being a pacifier for like a six month old. And then my sister like, she was like, you really need to change that. So she kind of pushed me off the ledge. So I went to Target. I got a couple pacifiers that were, um, I think the ages was like 12 to 18 months is what it said on it. Cold Turkey. I took away her pacifier. I gave her the correct one. Uh, she looked at me and looked at the pacifier and was like, yeah, that's a no. I hate this. So I would offer it in the car seat and at bedtime. That's the only time she got the pacifier before. Um, my husband was putting her to bed, gave her the new pacifier, and before he even <laughs> like set her body in the crib, she threw the new pacifier out of the crib and across the room and was like, I hate this. And she simply did not freaking want it. And so now she does not have a pacifier. She is pacifier free. She goes to bed without one. She goes down for a nap without one. It's kind of amazing that she's, you know, 14, 15 months without a pacifier and we kind of dodged that hurdle a little earlier than I thought we would, but I'm totally fine with that. Something else that sucked about the teething is she, when she was teething that bad, she pooped like five times a day for so many days. Um, which I didn't know before I had kids that that was like part of teething, but it is related. Um, I have found out. Um, anyway, her bottom was so red for a while because it was, I mean, I changed her diaper right away, but like it was just constantly having like, I've always used Desitin. Um, however, when that was happening and her butt was just seriously red and I was putting diaper cream after every single diaper change because she was like pooping so much, um, I used Bordeaux's butt paste, the extra strength that's in the red tube, and I feel like that stuff is legit. I mean, I've never thought that Desitin didn't work. I feel like that works fine for like a barrier cream, but the Bordeaux butt paste, it's thicker, like so thick, and I just feel like maybe it like stays on them better. I don't know, but I would feel like I would put that on her bottom at bedtime and then in the morning like her, her bottom would look a, a lot better. So if anyone out there is wanting to try something different for their baby's diaper cream, go crazy. Try something different, you guys. Live on the edge. These are the exciting decisions um, that I make nowadays. I feel like she's starting to play with toys like uh, correctly and using them purposefully if that makes sense she has like a teapot and she's starting to like make the motion of pouring it into the cup and like stirring the sugar she's starting to, to use toys for what like what they are rather than just you know throwing them around but so that's really cute to watch I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video but she is absolutely 100% and completely obsessed with Nate her dad um, and I'm I'm pretty obsessed with it too. Like watching their relationship is so cute. You know, sometimes I'm like, really? You know, I grew you, but she loves her dad. I mean, she loves me too. But like, sometimes I'll be holding her and she'll reach for him. Excuse me? No. So I don't really have much else to say. Those are just a few fun things that I wanted to film a video, if not for anything, for me to look back on. And for anyone else out there with a 12, 13, 14, 15 month old, you know, it's fun to see if my kid's doing the same thing as yours. You know, we're going through the same stage of life together. That's why I like these videos. Um, so that's pretty much it. But I wanted to really quick mention how crazy life has been in the past few weeks, ever since we got back from Mexico. I know that I had like a little snippet on my last video that I did with my sister. I just wrote like a little paragraph about um, a few things that had happened. But when we got back from Mexico, which was an amazing trip, pretty much like a week later, our upstairs air conditioner decided to stop working and it was hot as as upstairs <laughs> we just ended up getting a brand new um, unit for the upstairs so that was a pretty penny even with the warranty which like I complained so much to my husband because it was like essentially nothing I mean it helped out but it wasn't very much compared to the overall price that we had to pay but we had to sleep like downstairs on an air mattress in our living room Naomi slept in the downstairs um, like bathroom because all of our bedrooms are upstairs in this house. Um, my in-laws went to Hawaii for a vacation and we kept their two dogs 
for about five days. And so that was um, interesting, having three dogs and a baby. Um, so yeah, that period seemed a little crazy. So it has just felt really, really busy. Um, and so I've just been slow on getting videos out there. Um, and that's because I'm living life and life is crazy. <laughs> Nate and I are going to the lake this weekend with some of our best friends. We go every single year, but we missed last year because I had like a three-month-old and it fell on the exact same weekend as a huge family reunion. And I was um, pretty mad about that because the lake is like my favorite thing in the summer. Anyway, so Naomi is staying here and we get to have a couple days with our friends on the lake and no baby responsibility. So I'm really looking forward to that for sure. Can you say hi, baby? Naomi. Can you say hi? Say hi. Yeah. Say mama. Mama. Yeah, can you say dada? Dada. -da. Yeah, see how excited she was about that one? Can you say bubba? Bubba. Bubba. Where is bubba? Bubba. Oh, he's not here. He's not here. He's not here, baby. You did you have a good nap? Say yeah. Okay, we're gonna go. And can you say bye bye? bye, -bye. Say bye bye. Wave at the camera. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.